Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I have a little experience to share with you. Well, it has to do with injuries and fluid in the legs and, oh my God, a lot of little things. I would just know if any of you have ever experienced this. A year and a half ago, I got a knee replacement and it's been wonderful. I've never had such pleasure and stability and, and uh, strength in my knee as, as this thing has done for me. I'm able to squat, do stairs, no pain, nothing. I did get a staph infection after I had it and I had a little cellulitis, but that went away after a couple of IV hookups and I'm ready to go. Now I'm one of these guys that doesn't sit and dwell. Uh, I do things and I get out of the house and I go. So in between all that, I went to the gym and I did upper body. I figured I'll be okay. I've had no problem for a year and a half since a year ago, January. I have no problem with my leg at all. Three weeks ago, I was out here and I was kicking the ball for the dog, just uh, not a big little ball, not big. And I didn't think much about it and I had just done hack squats in the gym. And I sat down and um, I was done, I didn't think too much. And then I went to the movies and I'm sitting there, all of a sudden my calf starts to hurt. The back of my skin starts to burn and it's, it's really sore around the side and to the touch and I felt like somebody hit with a baseball bat. Then I started to walk and I started limping. I just, something was just hurting my leg really bad. And I had no idea what it was. I just know it hurt. My lower leg turned all pink, red. Um, started to fill up a little bit with fluid. And so I went to see an orthopedic uh, who's a friend of mine because mine was out of town. He took an x-ray and he said, your knee looks fine, I don't see. Maybe you." You might have twisted a, a ligament or sprained something, but I don't see much. I said, well, what about cellulitis? I think I've had this before. Should I take something? So he gave me Bactrim, which is an antibiotic, and I took it for four or five days, and I didn't see much success. My leg started to swell even more. Calf started getting really big, even around my knee. Uh, and then my left leg started to fill up a little bit. So I went to my cardiologist, got a really good cardiologist in Beverly Hills, who's checked me out when I had pneumonia and congestive heart failure a few years ago. And I've been passing all the blood tests like a champ, blood pressure's 116 over 70. It's like cholesterol's 166. I've got no problem with my lungs, my heart or anything. So they did a blood panel and they said, everything is normal. There's nothing wrong in your blood. It doesn't show any infection. Um, and you seem fine. It could be a clot, but I doubt it. So let's do an ultrasound. So they did an ultrasound from the groin to the foot. And they didn't find any clots. Circulation was great. Well, this is weird because why is my leg hurting so much and what's wrong with it and why is it swelling? Why is it getting fluid in it and what's going on? I can hardly step on it and walk. I'm using a walker. So um, my family got mad at me. You're always trying to self-medicate. This is what we do in wrestling and bodybuilding. We self-medicate. And I don't run the doctors for everything, but I do go when there's a problem. But I usually know my body, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. When something's wrong, you analyze it and you do the process of elimination and see what's working and what's not, and you come up with a solution. I felt I sprained the tendon. This is what I felt I had. Um, I went through the weekend and everybody's yelling at me, go to the ER. Everybody's an expert. My whole family, you got this, you got that, you're going to die, you got this, you got to do this. Oh my God, it was driving me insane. The text messages were driving me insane. So I agreed to go on, I think it was Monday or Tuesday morning last week, and I went to the ER. They tell me, put a gown on. I said, I'm not wearing a gown. Clint Eastwood wouldn't wear a gown. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to wear a gown. It's just my lower leg. Come on, I'll just pull my pant leg up. No, it says you have to put a gown. I'm not putting a gown on. Forget about it. I'm very adamant about what I'd like and what I don't like, and I don't want to wear a gown. I'm not staying in a goddamn hospital, I'll tell you right now. So the doctor comes in. He's very nice to me, and he says, let me look at your leg. He says, well, he said, it could be cellulitis. Now, cellulitis is an infection in the, in the uh, skin. And it can get blistery, and it can get pretty bad, and the skin can get really dried out. Um, and it can create a lot of problems. If it crawls up your leg to your heart, you can get really sick. He says, but I'm not sure it really is cellulitis. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna put you on an IV, antibiotic. I'd like you to stay in the hospital two days. And I said, nope, 
I'm not staying in any hospital. I've already done this with a knee replacement and I've done it with pneumonia. Hospitals are not good for me. I'm able to move around and do stuff. I'm not staying here. So he said, okay. I said, I have good insurance. They'll get me a home nurse and I can go home and do what I got to do. So they gave me the IV, the antibiotic. I went home, having difficulty walking, and I live alone. And so it's not easy, you know, to get around and do stuff and you're hobbling on one leg, you get in the shower and you put a walker in there and you, you, you just, you're not doing well at all. They send a nurse out, she comes out, she gives me an IV in my hand and she hooked it up, this rack in my other room with a bag hanging and I gotta do the IV for an hour. It's uh, vancomycin, one of the high mo highest, most potent IV um, antibodies you can take. So I had it in for an hour, then I have to do it again every 12 hours for five days. I said, okay, I can do this. They showed me how to hook up. I know how to do it, so I'm on my own. Uh, the next day I get up, I go to the gym, I take the walker, I'm gonna do upper body. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with my upper body. And there's nothing that I have to sit home and dwell because that's not gonna make it well. So I went to the gym, I did upper body, I got the circulation going, and when you go and your mind's working, you feel good, your body feels good, and everything feels fine. You sit home and you stick, you look at this thing and you, you, you just don't wanna feel sorry for yourself and you end up feeling really bad. Came back home, hooked up the IV at night. So I worked the routine so that I could do the IV early in the morning and then 10, 11 o'clock at night. That way it didn't interrupt my whole day. Did this for five days. Now, at the end of five days, which was yesterday, um, I didn't see much improvement in my leg. I do notice that my pain's going away, and um, my doctor put me on heavy diuretics, my cardiologist, a week prior. The diuretics I took before, and it gets rid of the water, you gotta like pee every 10 minutes somewhere. I had to pee three times to the doctor today and stop and go in my protein bottle because I had nowhere else to go. So, but the fluid's coming out of my legs. So today I went back to my original orthopedic who did my knee replacement. I'm telling you this for a reason because you guys ever have these problems, you'll know what to do. He looked at me and he says, you've got venous, venous stasis. That's the narrowing of the veins in your leg. It happens when you get older and what's happening, it's not pumping the water and the blood back from the bottom of your foot to the top of your leg. So it goes down there in pools and it swells up and it gets sore. So what do you do for it? He says, stay on the diuretics, get yourself compression socks. Those things work, they work like a pump. It'll clear it up. As far as the side of your knee, I think you got tendonitis from kicking the ball. This is what I told my family originally and nobody wanted to listen to me. You've got tendonitis, that's what that is. Okay, so I left and I'm icing it and I'm doing the diuretics and I got the compression socks. So I said, what about working legs? I haven't worked them in three weeks, I was afraid to. He says, no, you can go back and work legs. Just go light to start with and don't go heavy and let the blood flow go and pump that blood in and out of your legs so you can get circulation back and you should be okay. Um, it's a circulation problem, and this can happen as you get older. The compression socks really help because they compress the leg and they pump the blood back up into the heart. Well, it made sense to me because everything else didn't work. So now here I am. I'm doing this show on this because I want to share it with all of you because I thought maybe some of you had this problem. You're not quite sure what it is. Cellulitis, if you look at it, it's really an ugly thing on the skin. It gets blisters red and it just doesn't look well at all. And it could be mistaken for a lot of things, but the venous stasis looks similar it's just not the same thing it's the circulation problem from the veins narrowing down and this is how you remedy compression stockings the fluid comes from edema comes from the injury on the side of my leg i got fluid in my other leg from walking around with a cane i'm putting pressure on it so the both but this leg's not pink it's just creating fluid and it's it's just hard to walk it's uh, the end of the day now and i feel fine i can walk around I take the cane because it gives me a little stability. I feel a little bit unsure because that tendonitis in the side of your knee, sometimes I don't know if you guys walk, your knee will buckle and you feel like you're gonna fall, so you gotta catch yourself, and if there's nothing to catch with, the cane stops me. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about this. It's a, it seems to be a common thing to people that work out and wrestling and playing football or kicking balls or whatever, this happens, and this was the solution for me. After four doctors, <laughs> after four times, I finally told my family, look, I know what this is, and he validated today that the first time three weeks ago when I said it, what it was, that's what it is. I know when I'm right. So uh, I just wanted to share that with all of you because I like being right, but I don't like being sick. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's something uh, of knowledge for your body because it's not always about sets and reps and lifting weights. It's about taking care of your body so that you can do sets and reps and lifting weights because we want to be healthy and we want to eat right. All right, thanks for watching Rick's Corner, you guys. I really enjoyed telling you this. It's getting off my chest, 
and then you can think about it and I don't have to dream about it anymore. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on Rex Conner. Thanks for watching and thanks for being fans. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.